student athletes. So raise your hands. Ashley's over here. Tanner's over here. And we're um, ready for questions. There's one in our, on our left. Please address your question to a specific athlete if you have one. Rob McCurdy from the Mansfield News Journal in Gannett, Ohio. Uh, for Jawan, um, when you were a junior in high school here in, in Columbus, you had a pretty special moment with LeBron James after the game, uh, your, your state championship game. What did he say during that long moment, and uh, how big of an impact did that have on you? Man, you taking me way back. Uh, <laughs> uh, he just he grabbed me close. He told me that uh, he said that he lost a he lost a state final his junior year. Uh, he told me I was a special player and to keep my head up. He told me to remember that moment for the rest of my life. He told me to let that drive me for the rest of my life, never to feel like that again. So, you know, there was wise words, and uh, I've tried to live by them. But he, that was just a lot of encouragement that he gave me. Here's a question on our left again. To follow up on that, how, how neat is it going to be to be going to Cleveland where he obviously has made a name for himself and, uh, and facing the challenge you guys are going to be facing this week? I'm, I'm always going to be a LeBron fan, but right now I'm not thinking about him. I'm thinking about Kentucky. You know, we got another game to play, and, uh, you know, we in the Sweet 16. This is one of our goals, and we just want to keep moving forward. You know, we got a special group of guys, and, you know, we just want to take this team as far as we can. Tim in the back. Yeah, for all you guys, what, what, what's it like knowing you're now going against Kentucky? What did you get done tonight? What do you, what do you think the message was you guys sent tonight, starting with you, Devin? Uh, pretty much just what we've been doing all season. You know, it's, it's nothing that we did. Uh, it's new. I mean, I guess it's uh, kind of new to y'all. But, you know, the way we uh, we scrap, we get out there and practice is the same way, you know, it's uh, correlated to the court. And uh, pretty much it, we just doing what we do. And, uh, you know, we just playing our hearts out. And uh, pretty much, you know, we just got to get back, prepare, focus, and, you know, it's another team. You know, it's another team. They put their draws on the same way we do. So, you know, uh, that's pretty much it. We just got to prepare and get our minds right. You won? You know, Dev said it best. You know, they, they put their draws on the same way we put ours on. <laughs> But, uh, you know, like I said, since we started, you know, we've been playing this underdog role. You know, they, they didn't think we'd get past Buffalo. We got past Buffalo. You know, they didn't think we'd get past Maryland. We got past Maryland. You know, I'm pretty sure nobody in the world thinks we're going to get past Kentucky besides that, you know, 1.2 million that's in, in West Virginia. So, you know, we're going to keep doing what we do and uh, keep playing. Gary? Yeah, well, we won't stop now that that got us all the way over here. So. We don't stop and we don't care what other people say, to be honest with you, in my opinion. We have a small circle. We believe in our in our coaching staff. That title that had no name anyway, so. Okay, we want to keep this going quickly. Any other questions here? Here's Tim in the back. Yeah, Gary, could you tell, when could you tell y'all were really getting into these guys, maybe into their heads a little bit tonight with the pressure, the constant pressure and stuff? I mean, when, when did it kind of turn and, from your vantage point? When the guard warmed out, we, we when the, 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 their guard warmed out, that's, that was a big key right there for us. We, we told our guys, if we make sure that he don't catch the ball, we're going to have other guys that can make great decisions, make decisions. That's what we've been doing all year, and, and he worked today, and, and he got tired. And, I mean, these teams like that, they don't know because they don't watch us play all year. So, On our far left. Juwan, if you could talk to that too, just the the fact that you were able to get the pressure going and the defense going better as the game wore on rather than the other way around. I mean, it didn't seem like they figured it out. It seemed like you sort of imposed it more as the game went on. What what went into that? You know, we, we had a game plan. You know, we, we came into the tournament with a game plan. And you said, we all, all we got to do is get that first one. And then we didn't think teams would be able to prepare for our, our pressure. You know, early in the game, they were making good decisions. They were breaking our press. They were looking good, but they were using a lot more energy than they had to use all year. So we knew that at some time, at some point, they would break, and uh, you know they started slowing down. They started getting a little shaky with the ball. And when we seen them throwing it out of bounds a couple times, we tried to turn up our pressure. And you know, pressure is a, you know what pressure is. So <laughs> we just wanted to turn it up on them, and it worked for us. Other questions? Okay, guys. Thank you very much.
try to say something intelligent that you didn't say. Okay, <clears throat> good luck. Questions for coach? Raise your hands, please. There's one on our left, coach. And Bob, obviously when you install a full court press system like this at the beginning of the year, this is what you have in mind. Did you, did you think that these group of guys could get to this kind of level the way you played Friday and tonight and, and shutting teams down and forcing 20 plus turnovers? Yeah, I did, or we, we probably wouldn't have done it. You know, you, you look at the stats, we, we get uh, 16 more shots than what they get. That's what we have to do. We have to get more shots. We shot 36% the first half, they shot 55, and we led by one because we get more shots. And, and that's, you know, that's what we are. We're not, it's, it's you know, I, for, it seemed like everywhere we go, people say, well, it's not pretty. Well, I think it's beautiful. I mean, I, I, I love it. I, I love the fact that we can not make shots and, and, and still win, still find ways to score. Um, we've been, we get 14 offensive rebounds. We've led the country in offensive rebounds. You know, and a lot of those things come down to offensive rebounding and, and the pressure it comes down to, it's hard work. It, it's hard and, and, and comes down to having a lot of heart. And, and that's what I told our guys at halftime. I said, you know, we're, we're, if you guys want to play pretty, we're going to lose. You know, we got to do what we do. And uh, they came out the second half, did a pretty good job of it. Question on our right side. Bob, that was essentially what my question was. So thank you for I knew I knew that. That's why I answered it. Thank there. you. Uh, but given all of those things, the fact you got 16 more shots, 15 steals, 14 offensive rebounds, you got bench points because you played 12 and they played seven or eight. Is, is this the kind of game that you could almost frame and say, this is what we're supposed to be doing? Yeah, but I mean that, Dave, honestly, that's, that's what I told them the very first day. The very first day we started that we can play a bunch of guys, but you're gonna have to play really, really hard. And it's going to be hard, but we but we can do it. We can get you guys in the game. You can all have playing time. You can all experience playing and have some success. But it's going to be hard. Okay, Elton in the back. Coach, the player said uh, they thought once they got past the first one, uh, the re the next one would be easier because they wouldn't have time to prepare. Now you're back into that rhythm where you got a team that's prepared for you. What the where well, you go from there? Well, for, fortunately, they believe me when I tell them things like that. So, uh, other, otherwise, I don't, I don't know where we'd be. But, I mean, I think it is hard. I think you got one day to prepare for something that you, you you've seen very little of all year. Um, I don't know. Cal's probably already been practicing it. I mean, they they let them play on Thursday and at whatever noon or whatever. He's had a day and a half already. So. And I'm not doing anything till tomorrow morning. I'm tired. I'm gonna get a break. Here's Tim in the back room. Yeah, Bob. That's what I was gonna ask you. I mean, uh, you know, you, you touched on this yesterday. I mean, is does this put y'all a little bit in a bind? I mean, uh, preparation-wise, uh, in we're, basically your biggest game of the year coming up. We're kind of used to it. We're kind of used to it. I mean, our league plays, you know, Wednesdays, Tuesdays, Thursdays. Uh, so. We're, we're, we're a little bit used to it. The hard thing is we, is, is we can't really do much tomorrow, you know. So we'll practice Tuesday, and you really don't want to kill them on Wednesday because you need a bunch of energy on Thursday. So it, it does hurt your preparation. Do you feel this team is ready for this kind of challenge? What, 36 people haven't been? Uh, I don't know. We're going to have fun trying. Uh, Rusty in the back. Rusty Miller from AP. A lot of teams have been intimidated by Kentucky. It doesn't seem like you've got a bunch of guys that are going to be intimidated by them. No, I don't. I mean, I can't. I, I wish I could sit here and tell you we're definitely going to win. I can't do that, but I can tell you we're not going to be scared. Okay, in the front. <clears throat> Bob, you seem to back off the uh, picking up full court in the first half quite a bit, a lot of the possessions, but did it a lot more in the second half. Is that... Have you done that in other situations, and why did you do it tonight? Um, 
I don't know that we backed off. We just got spread out and we had to change some things. And it's hard to change things without having some time to make them understand what you want them to do. Uh, and um, we did a better job, I think, after halftime, you know, after we could. I, I didn't want to give them layups, you know, so we were a little more conservative when they did some things that we really weren't prepared for, and then we went in and made some changes at halftime. We're going to go right in front of us here. Uh, you know, during, during your career, you played, uh, you know, coached against a lot of teams that were supposed to beat you, a lot of teams that you were supposed to beat. Um, th does playing against a Kentucky team because of the streak and that kind of stuff, does that mean anything different to you professionally? Do you think it will mean anything different to the kids, or is this – that you have to approach it, that that's just, that really, that's irrelevant. It's just another game. Well, I mean, it's not another game. It's because it's in the Sweet 16, and it's in the NCAA tournament, and it's one and done. So it, you, you can't say it's just another game. Um, I, you know, I just want our guys to make sure they know Cal's going to have them ready to go. I mean, I, John and I go back 30, 40 years. I, you know, we know each other really, really well, and we've played against each other a bunch of times coached against each other a bunch of times. I wish I could play against Cal. Uh, we'd have a better chance. But um, he'll, he'll have them ready. He always does. You know, he does a great job. And, and, and they'll, you know, the, I think the hard thing is we don't know what their, what their scheme's going to be. That's the hard thing, you know, for us. Well, harder because we... Well, you, you know, you get you get tape and you try to figure out what people are going to do. And we had we had an idea, you know, what Maryland was going to do. I don't know if anybody's really pressed them. I don't know. We'll have to go back and look. I don't know. Final question from Mike. Bob, I think you're eight and two now against John. Uh, who's, who's counting, Mike? <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Uh, can you can you explain that that sort of uh, statistical edge? Or what what the difference has been? No, I I can't. I don't. Uh, he is an absolutely terrific coach. I mean, he's uh, he does he. Very few people uh, could do what he did at UMass, um, and then he went into Memphis when they were struggling, and and what he did at Memphis, I've got. I mean, John and I tease each other a lot, but I've I've got great respect for him and and for what he's done and what he's been been able to accomplish. So, um, you know, like I said, he'll have them ready. He always has them ready. And and I mean, you were there for a lot of those games. They were, we were fortunate. I mean, we won one one time in Memphis because our guy, our guy thought we were ahead. And and he and it was tied, and he started dribbling it out. He was going to run the clock out. And and they they jumped out and wouldn't let him wouldn't let him uh, take the ball out. I don't know if they knew what the score was either. And he dribbled in, and got a lap, and we won by two. Uh, you you were I think you were there for that one. So, I mean it's it's crazy, but um, I, I again I've just got I've got great respect for Cal. Okay, congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Good luck next week.